Oh my gosh, Alex, it's the last full week of April. I know, Shayla, but we can't worry about it right now. Why not? Because Tomahawk Talk is on the air. Glad you could join us today. I'm Shayla Frazier. And I'm Alex Rivers. Shayla, I know you're getting excited because the last week of April signals our final days at CMS. I am, Alex, but I'm also a little scared, too. There are a lot of things getting ready to happen. I'm not sure I'm ready for it. It's our last month together at CMS Braves. I know how you feel, Shayla, but we just have to take it one day at a time. If we do, then the transition to high school will be an easy one. Speaking of the high school, those of you planning to play in a sport next year or take part in an activity there, an informational meeting was held this past Wednesday night to provide parents and students with items they might need going into next year. If you didn't make it to that, it could have been that you were taking part in Step Up Night here at CMS. To find out exactly what it is, we caught up with Mr. Turley and Mr. Wixon to find out more. Last night we had our step up night and that is for our students who are 7th and 8th graders and as uh, they start band we start with a beginning band instrument and they're much more sturdily built and easier to play uh, but they don't let you do as many things like play higher notes and play faster notes so uh, the more advanced students for 7th and 8th grade uh, get what's called a step up instrument and those instruments uh, let you play a little bit higher and do some other things more easily um, and we progress through and get better and better. Those are the instruments that we move to. Those instruments will take them all the way through high school and uh, in some cases even all the way into college. So uh, we did that last night. The week before they got to play the instruments, we had the music company bring some out and they got to try them out in class. And then they talked with their parents and decided uh, if that was an investment they wanted to make in their future. So we did that last night and I'm really excited about uh, the quality of students we have in seventh and eighth grade and how good they're gonna be going forward. With you and I part of the band this year, we know how important this is. Thanks for the update. Now, Alex, what are you planning to do this weekend? I don't know yet. I might go to a movie or hang out with some friends. Why do you ask? Oh, I was just curious, just wondering what the weather might be like. That's all. Well, why don't we check in with Natalie to see what the forecast entails. Hey guys, it's Natalie with your five-day forecast. Today started off with some morning rain showers, but later it looks cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 46. Tomorrow there will be rain all day, giving us a high of 51 and a low of 42. On Sunday, there is a chance of rain in the morning with a high of 50, but later it's going to get windy, taking the low down to 40. Then on Monday, it's going to be all, all clear skies and sun with the high finally reaching the 60s and the low to 46. Tuesday will be sunny with a few clouds in the sky with a high of 71 and a low of 50. That's it for weather. Hope you have a great weekend and back to you at the studio. Okay, that weather works for me. You know what doesn't work for me? What? New words and vocabulary. I've been paying attention to Freezer Burn lately, and he has some very troubling words of the day. Are you talking about culinary expert and lunchroom etiquette, Freezer Burn? Yep. Check out the word of the day. Well, hello. My name is Freezer Burn, and today I'm bringing you the word of the day. <laughs> Hello, I'm Freezer Ben. Today's word of the day is junket. Junket. It is a noun. Here I will use it in a sentence for you. The senator is under fire for going on a weekend long lavish junket. Junket, of course, means a trip or journey or Flavored milk set with Renette, a festive social affair. Either way you look at it, I myself am going on a junket. Back to you. Did you know anything about that word, Alex? No, I didn't, but let's check out Riley with the joke of the day. Hey, Riley, what do you call two monkeys that own a business? Uh, monkey business. <laughs> that was a good one, Riley. Speaking of good ones, we have one here at CMS that is our very own Mr. Shreve. The bald one? Just kidding, but congratulations to Mr. Shreve as he was awarded an Excellence in Education Award at the USD 204 board meeting on Monday. Mr. Shreve immersed himself into the culture of CMS over the past three years. In addition to his responsibilities as a school counselor, he coaches and leads the Positive Action Team who is a very active club at CMS. We are fortunate to have Mr. Shreve on our team. Eighth graders, we only have 16 more days of school left. Summer 17 needs to come faster. I will definitely miss the teachers. I won't miss Mr. Strite. All right, Braves, track had two meets this week. Let's check in with Bella with this week's sports. What's up, 
up, Braves? I'm Bella Colorado with your sports news for this week. This week we had two track meets, one in Lansing and one at Patton. And here are the results. In two years, we are moving to the Frontier League. We don't exactly know what that means for the middle school, but hopefully we'll find out soon. That's it this week. Back to you in the studio. Good job, Track. I think this is going to wrap up this week. But before we do, we want to take time to recognize our very own secretaries at CMS. Thank you, Ellen, Emily, and Paige, for all you do to keep CMS running like a smooth machine. Your dedication to the students and staff at CMS does not go unnoticed. We celebrate you and everything you do to CMS this week. All right, Braves, have a great weekend. For I am Shayla Frazier. And I'm Alexandria Rivers. See you next week, Braves.